G'day there guys, Vincent here from Solar and Sat Bundaberg. This week we've got a really nice majestic navigator caravan in. We're basically doing a bit of a lithium power upgrade. Originally it only had 500 watts on the roof. The customer always wanted a large amount of battery storage and a lot of solar, that's what he come to us for. So we've fitted 900 amp hours of lithium batteries underneath the bed. The caravan's beautiful as you can see. It's pretty much brand new, the customer's just picked it up, wanted to check over everything and iron out a few issues before he takes it away. So he sort of uses it for work and play at the same time. Originally the batteries were underneath the chassis on the outside here, and they put the original battery management system in the bathroom, um, behind a sliding door inside a cupboard, which is fine, but their batteries are right at the front underneath. So there's a lot of distance and a lot of voltage drop between the cables from the front and the back of the caravan. Obviously that original battery management system works as your solar regulator, your DC-DC charger and your mains charger. And there's also a 3 kVA inverter back there as well. The problem with that is you've got a long cable run, meaning you get lots of voltage drop, especially now that we've moved the batteries under here. So the customer's always wanted lots of battery storage and lots of solar, so he can run his aircon of course. So we've installed 900 amp hours of lithium batteries, and we've actually moved things like the inverter and put new charges underneath the bed here, meaning you don't get that voltage drop, which is what we strive for in all of our installations. We always try and keep our inverter and all of our charges as close to the batteries as possible, which is quite important. So like I said, we've moved the inverter underneath, put new charges and everything underneath, as well as the big battery bank. And his fuse block and everything has still stayed up the back there. So if he ever needs to access that, he can. And his water tank sensors have all stayed the same as well. So We've fitted an extra 720 watts on the roof, which has given him a total of 1220 watts. Basically, we had to reconfigure the roof a little bit, move one of the solar panels back, put a new two 130 watt panels at the front, and now the whole roof is covered with solar, as well as deleting his original DRS vent and installed a carafan. Uh, not something that we would usually do, but with this, all you have to do is come inside, flick the switch on, and it actually pressurizes the van blows all the air out of all the seals, meaning you're not going to get dust coming in, um, which is a really cool feature, especially if you are going to be doing dusty, dirty roads. As you can see, underneath the bed, we've installed all of our Victron products. So we've got two 30 amp mains chargers. We've got 200-50 Victron solar regulators and also a 50 amp Orion XS DC charger. The inverter's under there as well. We've got solar breakers, fuses, We've wired it through the original shunt monitor, which means his original display screen will still say the same, um, still read all of his tank levels, and he's still got a bit of storage underneath the bed, which is pretty rare too. So overall, he's got a really nice caravan, and I don't think he'll be having any dramas after this. So if you're looking to get an upgrade on your caravan, whether it be lithium batteries, chargers, more solar on the roof, come and see the team at Solar and Sat Bundaberg.